Hello, hello. This is the 2nd of August. I will start my preparing my drone equipment. And uh, with the drone equipment, a few. Usually I buy in the winter some stuff to, to get started for the next season. This year the only thing I bought was this charger. It's a charger for four, for three batteries and and my remote control at the same time. It's the first time I just plugged it in. You can hear the it has a built-in a built-in fan. You can hear that. You see in the back the batteries are charging. They come out of winter hibernation. You see my remote control is charging. So it seems to work quite well. Cost of this I think was about $80, $90 with delivery. Then the only money I spent, and this is actually quite good money, this is the new extended version battery from DJI for Phantom 4 Pro. I only have a Phantom 4, but it seems to work for the both of them. Oh yeah, it's easy noticeable, the difference in, in color. I was wondering how you notice the difference in color. Cost of this Canadian about 250. Uh, so just in case some of you people think that being out there, it doesn't cost anything to fly because it's electric. Well, those batteries are actually quite expensive these ones uh, if you buy them right now it's about 170 70 dollars Canadian so it does add up when you think about it but I'm like I said I'm doing it for the fun of for the fun of, of flying and there we come to the next point I want to ask this year I want to ask anybody who is maybe watching my videos who has been watching my videos would like to watch my videos I would like to ask them to maybe give me a chance to fly if you have any any need to if you have want your house if you would like to have aerial photographs of your house if you like to have a flyover over your house and where you live if you have a, a party outdoor barbecue Anything like this, uh, a picnic, a family family gathering that might be who you would like to have some aerial photos in there. Uh, I can imagine somebody with a wedding might have wanting some, but it has to be requested by you. I There is no charge. I like to fly. I like to have chances to fly. Uh, Air Canada has come, uh, Air Canada, Canada has come out with some aerial uh, regulations that almost stopped me flying from whatever I have been doing so far has now basically become against the law. Those videos are, according to the new rules and regulations, they are now unlawful videos. Well, they were not when I took them, so that's okay. I have been flying since the start. I'm one of the pioneers of drone flying and drone videos, especially in the region where I live. Being one of the earliest, I never had any uh, injur injuries to report or any accident. I had one, uh, one flyaway where I lost the drone completely. I had one or two flyaways which I know what was the reason and I have solved that problem. This is with my drone number. The, uh, Phantom number two. What you see here is the Phantom four. This is the ultimate machine to me. It is so well in control. I have never had, never even heard of any bad, really bad incidents with any Phantom four. It has been flawless so far on the market, and millions have been sold. No accident. This is the Cadillac of drones. And uh, this is where I put my hope in. I still have my Phantom 2. I keep it for uh, with my Phantom 2 and with the GoPro on it. I'm able to take video and also take uh, photos at the same time. So if anybody's interested of, of his farm, his business, uh, house, property, the chalet on the lake, the chalet, the forest, anything like this, if you would like to have an a memory if you like to have 
If you like to send the video, upload it on YouTube and send the video to your family or around the world to your friends, where you live, how you live. Always a good thing to have. I have done a few videos, if you watch my older videos, I have done a few videos that that uh, has to do with, with things like this. I did something of a bakery uh, and I did it because this is my favorite bakery. They make the best best damn bread days. It reminds me of Germany. And I, there is no payment. This is not a job. This is uh, I, I had to ask them if it's okay if I do it. I, however, got from the bakery two, three really good breads out of it. They, they, they bothered with me. They gave it to me for free. That's nice. I took a nice video, I think, of of the farm across my my street because the guy we are sort of friendly. I mean, we we he used to sell. He used to own the land where my house is on here, and uh, he's still opening the road. It's it's with his tractor every year. And so I asked him once if he's interested in me taking a video of his his operation, and he actually told me, "Hey, wait till the weekend because on the weekend I have sort of an open day and." All the cows are at their best and they all cl cleaned up. It's like sort of a, a year end celebration. And I did go there and I flew his incredible. I did not know he has such a big land behind it. My God, it was the perfect tool for me to show his farm and for him to show his farm. He was very happy. He actually gave me half the season of, of the snow removal. He just didn't charge me, which I thought was a very nice exchange. It is. Thank you again for that. I mean, but other than that, I'm there is. No, I do not want any payment for anything like this, because it, to be honest, uh, it is a friendship service. I will do it like a friend helping a friend, because in case something goes wrong with the video, I did one video for party from from some people who did a party in their in the Erablier, that means a maple syrup production in the forest. And I did a video there and it was a family barbecue. And I completely screwed it up. It was I was so nervous. People were there, too many kids around me asking questions. So I completely forgot to turn on the camera, the GoPro. This was before I had the Phantom 4. I did not turn on that. GoPro and that just screwed me up royally. Sorry using the word screwed, but so I did uh, take a lot of video on this party and I, I put it, I uploaded it anyway and I, I did the flying of his terrain. I did that before, a day before, so he had some aerial of the shots of the house, the whole thing. And uh, of course I did that. Oh my God, I was so sorry. I did. I he, he kept saying I will pay. I said I don't want. I really that it is not. I'm not doing this for money. I'm doing this for fun of flying. So I offer everybody who is interested. Come on and do and have this done with me. I'm quite impressed. I, I must say with this little charger, that will cut down my my fun time. Uh, it will give me so much more fun time. Because it used to be you have to charge battery after battery after battery. Having a chance to charge all three batteries at once plus, and I can see already it went up by one notch. So it's a pretty powerful charger. This is actually one of the better uh, third product invention I have seen in it. Yeah, puppy. Well, I will uh, show you now, uh, make a little cut in that video and show you uh, the new rules and regulation of Canada, they came out on the end of March with this. And this is the law now and uh, how crippling it is for us drone operators and how dangerous it is in the dangers they have built in with those new regulations, at least from my point of view. Well, here, here we do. We have the regulations, the new regulations. If you want to watch it closer, you can read it while just stopping the recording here. Uh, when you go down there, you will go towards uh, reporting accents or reporting uh, happenings with drones. Down here, report a drone incident. If you click on that, you will go to a page that brings you here 
well, what you have to report on, what, what you should write down, what you should do it. This is all quite normal. I think if you have somebody using a, a drone in the wrong way, but then you go towards, uh, you have a choice to go to an incident report, and there goes all the details, including the drone size, the drone look, the description of the operator, all those little details. Um, at what time, all the information, how high you think it was, uh, evidence if you have photos. And here is what I think is the danger, the leave free, is the contact information. You can leave it free and it's uh, unanimous. That means anybody who can hate a drone operator, who doesn't like him, who hates his swim for whatever reason, can complain about every flight this operator does because in reality every flight is, has become just about unlawful by the rules to register the drone operators. It is, uh, you are allowed to buy it, but basically what Canada has done has not allowed to use it to drive it. Well, now that you have seen that, come. Huh. I knew all over the world, we all knew, all drone operators knew there are laws coming. Of course, the uh, governments have to be involved. This uh, creation of drones and the fast advancement in drone technology has just over, overshadowed and overpowered all politicians. Coming up with the rightful law almost was impossible even now. I, I hope this is just something temporary that eventually will be adjusted to be to be okay. Uh, I find it very dangerous to have give the, everybody the possibility to complain about a person, about something that this person is doing without having to, 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 have, to have to stand up for it and without any background. I, for example, live here for years I have one neighbor I have really my my issues with. We do not get along. I don't like him, he doesn't like me. And this neighbor will of course find a way to this form and fill it out full with his accusations, which I must say are not even accusations. They are true. I am flying from my place out over the river and uh, I'm only 30, maybe 30 meters away from him. I cannot be 75 meters away from him because our chalets are that close together. Does that make me now a criminal? I guess so. Can he charge me and I will have to pay my high fines? I uh, hope not. This is all a bit in the future. I, I hope I will not be used as an example to, to rectify a new law to I hope this will be this will self-regulate itself I'm not sure how important uh, this law will be taken I'm not sure how in, involved the regular police will be in this can police come to my home and arrest me because I have been flying you know my computer, my, my drone has a computer which uh, basically records itself and all the flights, so there is no way of lying for me. All the flight paths will be still on the record. Um, this is all a bit in the news, but if you have anything for flying, please call me. My phone number would be uh, area code 418 and then seven three six four zero one two and uh, get in touch with me if you need any anything reported flying uh, maintenant pour les personnes françaises je voulais dire ça chose en français en vitesse peut-être vous avez manqué ça en anglais uh, je cherche une place pour uh, utiliser ma drone légal et si quelqu'un m'a invité pour prendre une vidéo de son terrain, de sa ferme, de son business, d'une partie privée, un barbecue, de, de, des amis, un, un, 
une propriété, une maison, un chalet au lac, un chalet aux forêts. Euh, si quelqu'un euh, voulait aimer ça, d'avoir de, de, de une rép report, une un vidéo euh, et des photos d'une activité comme ça, appelle-moi, numéro 736 42 région de Rimouski. Euh, S'il vous plaît, je suis euh, disponible et je vais arranger ça. C'est gratis, c'est pas, pas de charge, ça coûte rien. Moi, j'ai fait ça pour mon plaisir. Nous allons voir si ça marche. Bon, I could say the same in German now, but I don't think too many Germans will call me to ask and fly the throne for them. So, <laughs> let's, let's forget the German part in this way. It was a pleasure making this video for you and uh, as soon as my drones are ready and as soon as the snow outside is gone, we still have over one meter high snow, I will put some a table outside and show you once all my drones I'm having. Uh, just to, to show you what I'm working with at the moment, this is kind of fun too. Have a good one and until we fly in a few days, see you soon in the air.